I've been walking now for well over an hour and a half, maybe about two hours. And uh, I haven't seen anything except some tadpoles, a toad, a frog, some water bugs. I guess because there's a, a storm coming, they say. The weather does feel like it. But um, last couple weeks there's been snakes on the trail. Tonight, nothing. So I'm just gonna find a place to set up camp here along the river. Dead end. Look at that view. This is it. This is my campsite. Beautiful view. The river's about 200 feet to my west. Maybe, no, maybe 300 feet. But a huge owl, huge owl just dropped out of this tree, went down across. Here we go with the bare bones down and dirty. Wow, wild oasis, 13 ounce shelter. I'll set it up and I'll show it to you. Okay, there it is. Six moons wild oasis. It's just a tarp tent, there is no bottom. It does have this mesh. This mesh, I've cut this tie back to barely overlap the mesh. I got a 45 sleeping bag, just over a pound. Thermarest short. My uh, go light is for, for the knees down. Slumberjack pillow. And La Fuma 600 45 degree bag. I'm hoping for rain tonight, but it's not guaranteed. I've yet to try this out in the heavy rain. I'd like to do that. You see? See that? It's got, the, it's got the mesh. Okay, as you can see, there's plenty of room. Look, it's my boots, all my clothes. I've no my food in here. There isn't really no bears in this area. More water. A flute, my hat, my camera. Um, hygiene. Meds, snake bite kit, ace bandage. Uh, phone, I didn't want to leave in the car. Camera, camcorder, light. Mora. Trekking pole, the other trekking pole is here. And in emergency, you could fit an adult and a kid, but you, I don't think you can fit two adults in here. You might be able to. Yeah, you probably could. It'd be real tight, though. Anyway, see you guys in the morning. Well, you'll see me in the morning. Guys, to, to give you guys a better idea of how much room there is, here's my jam pack. It could actually come over this way a little bit. And you got enough room over there for a, a body. Here's my half pad, 47 inches, I believe.
I think two ants got in last night. If it's raining, you could have this open. You could be sitting up. You could be cooking right here and you could stay dry. here merging together and you got this big old deep hole right here over the years somebody built this dam up good as place as any for breakfast okay this is a water filter got from Germany from a friend of mine named Ralph I put a link to his channel below mine in the details we make some water make some breakfast look how cool this thing is and it literally weighs about that weight of an empty Coke can or Pepsi can. It's, it's absolutely nothing. Ceramic filter. Catadyne makes one now too. Um, uh, I looked at the inside of the Catadyne. It's almost the same exact one as this. Ceramic filter. Get this one on eBay. It may seem weird. And I have spaghetti and meat sauce for breakfast. <laughs> I didn't eat it last night. The water filter, the water, where I got the water. And then the, the snow peak granite stove. feel confident enough maybe I'll place them on a video just to pass time this is not a bad little meal fogging the lens there you go it's a uh, spaghetti and meat sauce it's not a bad meal at all single serving. I'm sitting here and there's something easing its way down through this brush. I'm not sure what it is, if it's a snake or a squirrel or what, but every time I turn my back, it comes forward. Every time I look at it, it stops. <laughs> there's something coming through there. You know, over the years I've tried many packs. Uh, my daughter liked the Osprey. She's with the Osprey for years and now she's outgrown her Osprey time to get an adult pack. I'm gonna get her a jam. You, really, you can't beat these jam packs. The small ones, the 35, they fit everything you need. And they work as a sleeping pad because there's absolutely no frame, there's nothing rough. So you get the short pad and then this is into your legs. 
get a little bit of padding there. Keep the uh, ground from pulling your body heat out. They look great. So this is the pack I'm going to get my daughter. A little girl back here in the canyon camping with her mom and dad for the hunting bear. She, uh, her and her dad watch most of my videos. And they say, she says, if you like Indians how much, then how come you're wearing a cowboy hat? <laughs> I told her, well, I'm not going to go wearing a, a headdress while I'm hiking. She goes, why? I said, because the brim uh, shades my eyes, shades my neck, my back. Oh, can you put a brim on a headdress? I said, no. <laughs> and then I got to looking at some of the hats, and I saw that old Billy Jack hat. That would be a cool hat, but it's $795. It's crazy. Look, and I'm looking up there. And it looks like there's a cave. It looks like there might be a cave. I could probably make it um, going up that little center of the screen, going up that by that brush, and then cross over. But it'd be a heck of a climb to find out there was no cave. Or I could go up that way over the top. Hmm. Another time.